Here are 12 things that you didn't know about the game, Visteria. Starting off with this cool reference to Spongebob located in Shiprock Bottom. As you can see here, it is a pineapple and Spongebob and Patrick, just like in the original show. And just above it, you can see that there is indeed an island located in Spongebob. Here's a picture of it. Alright, but did you know that if you climb the mountains right above the warrior stronghold, you will find a face. And this face is actually a reference to Minecraft, the Temple of Notch, as you can see from this photo on this plane here. And right above that face is a cool chest, but the reborth guy that they moved. And in the chest, you'll find yourself an aviator's cap. Cool. And did you also know that there's going to be a new mage subclass called the Shadow Mancer? Here, I'll put a few photos to show you what it looks like. So basically the shadow master, you can turn yourself into this cool shadow thing and you can create like clones. It seems a bit similar to Warlock, but it's really not the same thing. And have you ever wondered what these three little locked up buttons are here? Well, this one all the way to the right is actually the Guildhall one. And I know most of you probably must have known that. And the one right in the middle is actually Monster Book. It's a Monster Book button that used to be in Vesteria, but I don't know what happened now. And this is actually your quests. Did you know about all these cool future items like the Spellslinger's Arrow, the Forgotten Tomb, the Shade Claw, the Forgotten Pickaxe, and all this cool Tribute Wars gear? Well, I sure didn't know about all this before the video. And I sure did not know about there was an ugly spiderling. Have you ever seen this four-leaf clover? Well, when you pick it up, it gives you quote-unquote determination. But do you know what that determination actually is? A reference to Undertale. Oh, and the status effect, it also gives more greed. By the way, the four-leaf clover was added for St. Patrick's Day. Did you know that if you head over to Blacksmith Row, make your way up here, jump up onto this platform and then jump up onto this castle looking thing, you can actually see cool new things that might be in the future game. Like, for example, these weird chairs. I'm not sure what they are, but I can just sit here casually. All right, so I made it on here with Horsehead and this is actually like a nice little home. So there's a bed and below here, is just like a bunker or basement. I think this might be like a future place or some sort. And a little bit farther from this, if I jump up here, I can also see something over there. Let me just try to parkour. Uh, exit. Um, that's a little strange. By the way, there's a cool titanium chest there if you want to grab it. Just not sure if you guys have seen that or not. And a little farther over here in near the bank of Nilgarth, if you hit the bank and then make a sharp right over here, there is there's actually a little secret city behind Nilgarth, but I've noticed a few things here that might just be in a future update of Steering. So here what it looks like a pet store. You can maybe get accessories for your pets, like for example this baby possum pet. And also, there is an NPC here that is part of a quest, and he for some reason glitched into a ground. And if you go even farther from here, then you can see some weird floating trees. And then down here, let me just go right there. So, there's this, like, underground city below Nilgarth that I don't even know if anyone has ever gone here. But it seems like, it seems like some sort of... I feel like I don't even have to say anything for this. Thumb.